Hi everybody, this is Oleg. Welcome to Oregon Preparedness. I am in, not quite in, but near Green River, Wyoming. And Wyoming, you know, it has some mountains a little bit, some interesting terrain, but most of it, it's pretty empty. For those of you who have never been here before, it's very dry, usually very windy, fortunately not today. You can see the ridge of some mountain over there. Wide open spaces without a doubt. So if you like to see wide open spaces, Wyoming is good for that. Otherwise, this place would be probably one of the worst places for bugging out. This terrain, simply put, is way too dry. There's no rivers or streams. There's no tree cover for most parts. Um, no resources, you know get super cold and windy in the winter time and you sure wouldn't want to be in this kind of situation if you were bugging out so if you are in this area or surrounding areas i'm sure you're aware of this but if you're gonna be bugging out anywhere Try to avoid even coming through Wyoming, because what if you get stuck? And what are you gonna do then? Without resources, or even any kind of hope for resources. But terrain is not what I wanna talk about in this video. And what I wanna talk about in this video is bread. Like this bread I have over here, you know, I have, I already have eaten half the loaf. Dave's bread, I don't know if you have this kind of bread in a store near you, but it is, uh, there's, it's everywhere uh, in, around Northwest. I think it's actually made in Portland. Uh, oh no, I guess not. Well, the, oh yeah, Milwaukee, Oregon, that's right. I thought it was made in Portland, but anyway, this is very good quality bread. You know, you can see it says all those proteins and fibers and uh, how many uh, how many grams of whole grains, and as you can see, it's organic, no GMO. Super good quality bread. If it's not Dave's bread like this one is. You can still find something similar locally, I'm sure. And so, uh, number one, try to eat good quality bread. Because bad quality bread will just make you fat and doesn't have much nutrition. This, if you eat too much of it, will probably also make you gain weight, but at least there is a lot of nutrition. Everything in moderation, you know. Anyway, um, what I really want to talk about is not how much bread to eat, but I think we're approaching a time when food will spike up in prices. And that, that includes bread as well. You know, right now, this kind of bread, you can buy a loaf in a regular store, like Fred Meyer's, you know, Kroger, uh, $4, $3.50, $4. However, a while back, about a year ago, I made a video where um, you can buy discounted food at special discounted stores. And in those places, this very same bread will cost you maybe two or three dollars for two loaves. And then if you get to the food banks, you get this same very bread for free. 
So there are a number of ways to get bread. And even right now, four bucks for loaf is not a lot. There will, there will be a day when it's gonna be $10 for the same loaf. And I'm afraid that they, that day is not far away. So uh, what I really wanted to say, you know, uh, if you're rich, it doesn't matter. You're gonna pay 20 bucks for loaf, it won't, it won't matter. But if you are on a budget or not so rich, while you can, you should get this bread. Don't get cheap bread because that's just, there's no nutrition, not much of it, and it'll just make you fat. Get good quality bread, such as this one, and it's already sliced. You know, if you have enough money, don't bother, just go to regular grocery store and get a bunch of it. If you don't have too much money, go to discounted stores. If you have no money, go to uh, food banks. So as you can see, all you need is an effort. You cannot say, oh, I can't do this or that. <clears throat> if, you, if you just don't even want to put any effort forth, then you're just too lazy. But <clears throat> get it wherever you can get it and dry it. If you dry it up, this bread, you know, it's already sliced up for you, you know. If you dry this, this bread, you know, it's very good tasting bread, by the way. The bread, dry bread, can store for years. As long as there is no moisture, as long as there is no moisture, that could get into your stash, into your bags. Once you completely dry it, you don't need no fancy machinery to dry bread. All you need to do is just put it on the tray and leave it out for a day or two. If you have um, a house or an apartment with balcony, put the tray out in the sun. It'll dry in no time. Once it dries, put it away in the bags. Mylar bags are probably the best, but even plastic bags in, with a tight, you know, like Ziploc bags. And keep it in a dry, cool, dry place. That bread will store for years without um, getting spoiled. And if you throw in there some oxygen absorbers, even better. So when that time comes, when loaf of bread was gonna cost, you know, 10 or $20, if you still have the money, great. But if you don't, you'll have bread just in a dry form. And you know, if you just dip it in the soup or in, in milk, it becomes soft in no time. Dry bread, bread tastes great too. I like it personally. So uh, do that while you can. And uh, one more bread, bread of life. Jesus said, I'm bread of life. Don't forget that bread. Don't forget to read your Bible and get your soul ready. Because these times, unfortunately, I think are end times. I don't know how long this end, end times is gonna stretch for. Is it, do we have? months or years or maybe a couple of decades no one knows i don't think it's months i don't think it's decades but i do think personally it's just a few more years before the end as you can see crap is hitting the fan everywhere look at what's happening on canary islands with that volcano by the way speaking of volcano and uh, canary islands if you want to see really good coverage on that, check out NY Prepper. He's got that volcano cover with video footage. Um, every day he's been uploading videos with what's going on over there in La Palma. You know, with normal uh, 
normal uh, pandemic situation with volcano, with wars everywhere. This world is in turmoil. Uh, it's not a surprise to anyone. So keep getting ready and get some bread in your stash. It's good to have canned fruits and vegetables and canned meat. And it's good to have bags of rice, but it's also very good to have some bread. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next upload. Share this video if you find it useful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Take care. God bless.